how are you feeling right now? Oh, excitement, nerves, all of the above. Okay. Yeah, it literally is all about. It's one of the worst things. I think for us, I feel like we go through like this anxiety of just the not knowing is the worst part. Not knowing if how he's going to perform, how the fight's going to go. And it's one of the things you see your friend in a ring just getting hit, and it's just not the nicest thing to see. It's a weird experience. Is this like when your parents uh, like enter you into a competition, and then they become more nervous than the, than you taking part? Is that what it's like? Yeah, one hundred percent. It is that. It is that. I'm always called the dad of the group as well. So I think that's one of the things. <laughs> like, everyone calls me the dad of the group, and I feel like JJ loses. It's your fault. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's his fault. <laughs> surely. What have you guys been doing in the last couple of months uh, for KSI, for JJ, to support him? Like, what does that look like? So the first thing we had to do is we run our group Sidemen channel together, which has been a video every single Sunday since the start of last year. And the support on those videos has been unreal. So our first job was to make sure that we had that content leading up to the fight and extending after the fight. So we JJ has been away for the last month, but we prepared four weeks of videos in advance, which meant for probably three weeks, we were shooting like three, four times a week, probably did about 25 videos in advance. And we wanted to make sure that all of the YouTube stuff was out of the way for him. He could come to America, focus on just his boxing, his training uh, without any distractions. So that was kind of our first task. And the other task has just been constantly keeping him down to earth, telling him to keep working at it, trying to help him watch what he's eating, encourage him to train, work out with us. and on his own time, that has been the main aim. It's really interesting, how is he? How is he at this moment in time? He's just as confident as ever. That's the, that, that's the thing, I, like, I admire him for that because he's always so confident. He believes in himself, always has, but this time even more so. There's like a different aura about him this time where he really like, you talk to him and he just, confidence just oozes out of him in every like breath that he speaks. Just because I think he now believes in his own skill set that he's, he's got and like obviously he's rectified any issues he had in the previous fight. He understands what he's up against this time. Uh, and, he's, and he's obviously trained to uh, tr attack that. So hopefully his confidence is the right thing to get. Like, I hope he's going to go the right way. What, what changes do you notice in him particularly, physically, mentally? How has he changed since the fight last year particularly? Oh, it's, it's hard to kind of parallel because so much has happened since the last fight and this fight. Um, I would say the kind of huge difference is that, as Josh said, he knows what he's up against and he's been training specifically for this fight. He's not been training for something that's an unknown. He's been training for this specific fight. And I think that has really helped him to be confident in his training and know what to train. There's less uneasiness and anxiety going into it, I'd say. The training camp that we've kind of seen on YouTube videos and stuff and pictures and whatnot in the last couple of months has been so intense. Like, just describe to us what he's been doing. And have you been able to keep in touch with him, for example? So yeah, we've, we've had messages forward and backwards. We haven't physically seen a lot of the camp. He's you know, shown us teasers and stuff. But from the sounds of it, he is really getting pushed to the absolute limits, like close to kind of breaking point. But that's what you need to do. And I feel like it's really great for him to go to Vegas, train with the Mayweathers and actually have a camp with no distractions. I feel like in previous fights, he was in London, his own natural life, hanging around with us a lot. And it's so easy to get distracted. Whereas I feel like he's been really removed from anything that can kind of sway his vision away from what he needs to get done. Is that a bit weird like when, when suddenly like one of your like closest friends just suddenly becomes like super isolated? Let me see, I don't know, with him it's not like weird. I feel like he's had stints before in the past where he's gone to America for like a month or so just to try and focus on different things. Like he did his movie back in the day and he left after like six weeks then. I think more recently we've been like a very tight knit group with our whole like Simon Sundays we've been doing. So it has been strange. I think, like I said, we prepared in advance very well for that. And I think this has been a great thing because he has no distractions. So I think him being away, like, we understand why he's away and he's had no distractions, which is great. Okay. What's, been, what's this week been like? What's the kind of mood? What's the buzz around you guys? The same as always for us. I feel, I feel, we, like I said, we are the parents who are more nervous than <laughs> anyone. But like I, said, I, I feel confident this time. I feel more confident than I had before because he just seems much more confident. But obviously, as everyone says on, on the internet, you look at Logan, you're like, he's a unit. He is massive. Um, so it's whether or not like size, does size matter in boxing? Is his muscles going to matter? As he, as he rectified his like fitness issue he had last time, it's just that unknown. The unknown is what like makes us more anxious. I think that's what it is. We're all excited. It's just the unknown. Yeah. Again, it's. I think one thing that's very different is being away from home for this fight. The previous two fights have been in London, and you kind of 
almost the build up for it, it you, you're so busy working on everything else you're doing. You're like, you know it's happening, you know it's happening. Oh my goodness, it's <laughs> happening like tomorrow. Whereas for this, it's like, okay, we've got to book our flights, our hotels, we've got to plan our whole content schedule. We've got to get out here. And then now we're here for a few days, we're like in this limbo state where we're just waiting and we can't really project and plan too far ahead because a lot of it's gonna you know, depend on the result of the fight. Um, and it's, it's exciting, but also scary. <laughs> but how could it not be? I remember last year in the arena when Logan Paul, when the Paul brothers, in fact, entered. Just the noise, the booing, everyone was shouting at them. Clearly it was like a home support, like you were just saying. Is that, what's, what, is that gonna happen here in LA? Like, what, what's the support for, for JJ gonna actually be like, do you think? I think it seems like from what I've seen in all the lead up, like kind of events like the, uh, what's it called, public boxing, uh, public workout, sorry. There's a lot of support for JJ in America. And I think that's the way it is. I think in the UK, Logan is like the enemy in a weird way. Because I feel like JJ kind of just dominates the UK with regards to audience base. Um, so I feel like, and ultimately as well, everyone says, says in interviews that JJ loves being the underdog. It's one thing you have to remember. Like when he, when he had a fight against Weller, he was the underdog in that event. Uh, the crowd booed him and he lives up to that. He plays that role. And that's a role that he plays so well. So I think if anything, we kind of want the American audience to be there booing JJ. Whether it will happen or not, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It's <laughs> a weird sentence. It is a weird sentence, but, but he plays that role well. I think, yeah, regardless of... Although, actually, surprisingly, just one thing I've been looking at is online. Online, it seems like JJ has significantly more support this time round than last time round, which is kind of bizarre. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of that is based on the fact that JJ has been consistently really working on content as of the past six months with the Sidemen and on his own channels. And I think that's really helped him build this core, strong group of fans, especially as this is now the third time his fans have seen him box. And I feel like they, there's a lot of respect in being someone who doesn't have to box. He doesn't have to get up. It's not like he's resorted to boxing. It's he's chosen to get in the ring, really put himself on the line. And doing that a third time in a row and in the previous two instances, really performing under that pressure in that environment. I think he's earned a lot of respect from the online community as somebody who they really, they're rooting for and they want to see win, which I think is great. It's really interesting. We've, we've kind of mentioned the sort of intensity and stuff of the training camps and just getting ready for this. Has there been any talk of what happens next after Saturday night? What, what's next on the, on the plan? I think it all just depends on the result. And then we'll go from there. Uh, JJ is someone who always has big plans, who always be ambitious, and he always wants to innovate further and take the space further than it currently is. Um, so I'm sure, I mean, Logan's the same really. I'm sure whoever does win, they'll always look to him more. Will they go, like Logan said about going to like professional boxing and trying to be like the world champion of the world. Um, like, there's a lot of things out there, but I think it all depends on the result of, on Saturday night. And if he does win, what, what do the side men and JJ do after a win? What's a night out after a boxing win against Logan Paul going to look like? It's, it's a straight party for a month. That's, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. And that's, that's, that's a big part of the excitement. That's just a huge celebration for all of us. We, yeah, we can't wait for that to happen. It's going to be great.